in Nice this week, the world said goodbye to Jules Bianchi. Jules passed away nine months after suffering severe head injuries in a crash at the Japanese Grand Prix last year. In the words of his father, Jules fought right to the very end, as he always did. But today, his battle came to an end. Jules was one of Formula One's brightest young stars and hugely popular throughout the paddock. He started karting as a child and went on to dominate the junior formulas of the sport. In my experience, he was the best go-kart driver I saw. Amazing driver. In 2009, he joined Ferrari's Young Driver Academy and tested regularly for the Scuderia thereafter. His speed and consistency impressed the likes of Felipe Massa and Fernando Alonso. He was an excellent driver and a very talented guy. As his reputation grew, Ferrari loaned him to Force India in 2012, where he drove nine Friday practice sessions as the team's reserve driver. A year later, he made his Formula One debut with Marussia. The very first day he came into our garage, he displayed a trait that you don't often see these days, sadly, and that was, that was that he was incredibly grateful. He could not wait to get into that Formula One car. The highlight of his career came last year at one of Formula One's toughest tracks, Monaco. You can't overtake at Monaco, but he saw one opportunity when the Ferrari passed him under blue flags, and he just, he just, he just grabbed that chance. An incredible drive saw him take his Marussia to a surprise ninth place, not only giving him his first World Championship points, but the first ever for his team. It was like to win a race. Finally, we, uh, we score some points, so it's, uh, it's just amazing. We wouldn't be here without that moment. The team would have disappeared without that. It was clear that he was destined for great things. There was talk of him driving for Sauber this season, and then possibly the greatest prize of them all. Former Ferrari president Luca de Montezemolo said that he was the driver they had chosen for the future to replace Kimi Raikkonen. Well, for sure, I had an incredible future. I'm sure, Jules would have gone on and won many Formula One races, maybe even several championships. It was, it was certainly good enough to do that. Unfortunately, in Formula One, he didn't have the opportunity to race in the competitive car. He shows anyway, you know, by finishing the, in the points in Monaco. His is a story of potential that will never be fulfilled and of a talent that will never be rewarded. The number 17, Jules' number, has now been retired from Formula One as a sign of respect. You do what you do because you do know that Jules would like us to put our helmet to close our visor and to do it 100% as we have always done. You know, he, he lived for his passion, he, he died for his passion. As a driver, we share many moments. We do the same, all of us, and, and not to see him ever again, it's, it's really, it really shocked you. I've got some great memories of, of my time with Jules. You know, I remember him for his smile, I think his humility. Definitely going to miss him, and that's why, hence the, the message on my hat this weekend. So, uh, forever in my heart, and uh, yeah, number 17 for Jules. So, yeah, going to miss you. He's a great driver and a great person. He'll, he'll always be with us. He doesn't need, doesn't need a race there, one particular race. He'll always be with our hearts.